Product research is one of the most important elements when you want to sell on Amazon, of course. However, there are things to consider beyond just finding a great product to sell and utilizing tools that can help you find said product. In this video, I'm gonna go over seven different things that you need to consider before you launch any product on Amazon. So let's get started. Look, finding a successful product to sell on Amazon is not easy. And I'm certain if you're in this phase of your Amazon journey, you've probably consumed a lot of videos, maybe even attended a couple of trainings, or webinars, or maybe even enrolled in a course, and you certainly started using tools. However, it's important to know that most other sellers do exactly the same thing. That's why it's a little bit difficult. Of course, you can use, utilize the data, and I always say on the channel in all of my videos, you should really follow the data. However, things shift in the market, and e-commerce and specifically selling on Amazon is such a quick and fast-paced business that you might do all of the research necessary. However, once you launch the product, there are a lot of things that might change that can get you to not succeed in the way that the data had shown you earlier. So this video is created for me to go through seven different things that I want you to check in order to better understand or probably to lower your risk of not succeeding on Amazon. Let's get started with number one, start with a smaller inventory. Yes, this is essential because you want to minimize your risks as much as possible. We employ a strategy which we call the micro market strategy. We like to launch, and this is specific data for Amazon in the Middle East, anywhere between 100 to 100, 200 units, so a very, very small quantity. Even though the costs are going to be a little bit high, so you're not going to be making a lot of returns because you're, you're ordering a very small quantity. However, you're going to be minimizing risk a lot. So start with a smaller inventory. Number two, optimize your product sourcing. Of course, this is very essential and important. You shouldn't just find one supplier on Alibaba as an example and whatever they tell you, whatever they give you, you just go for it. You should be searching multiple suppliers so that you can try to lower your costs down as much as possible. But at the end of the day, you also need to strike a balance between cost and quality. Number three, use affordable packaging. Yes, if you are a creative person, you might go wild with creating packaging and customizing your boxes and your packs and all of that which is wonderful of course and it is honestly great to receive as an amazon customer a product that is fully customized however if this is uh, a new product that you're launching of course customized packaging is very expensive and you don't really know whether or not that expense is going to pay for it itself later on so just be careful and number Number four, avoid over customization of your product and over complication. Again, if you're a creative person, you might find a cool product on Amazon and try to figure out what different changes, what customizations, and you might go to a supplier and just fully customize the product and create a bespoke one of a kind product that is very unique. So that is going to be a little bit difficult because of course this is going to be very expensive to manufacture and you don't really know if you're launching the product for the first time, you have no data to back up that all of the customizations that you are doing are actually going to translate into sales. So keep it simple, especially when launching a new product on Amazon. I would suggest to keep it simple. Don't make extreme customizations, just small branding changes to just enhance the branding of your product. Consider inexpensive ways of how you can brand your product, just small touches that can't be that are not very expensive. And also consider bundling by adding because bundling can add more value to your product. Now, if you want more tips and tricks like this, make sure that you check out our free downloadable PDF file linked in the description box of this video. And also I'll add it as a first comment and pin it just for you. And if you're looking for help and support with your Amazon business, whether you're starting out or you have already started selling, and specifically this is for Amazon in the Middle East, and you've got some struggles or you need somebody to guide you, to help you, consider checking our website and contacting us for help and support. Our website is www.assmiddleeast.org. 
you'll find a little bit more information about our programs and you can book a call with our team. Point number five, limit your product line initially. Yes, this is specifically for people who do have a good investment and they want to get started on Amazon and are really excited. I would recommend that you don't get started with a lot of products. It's going to be very difficult for you to manage, even if you have a team. And additionally, I want to highlight the fact that if you're launching a product and you want to launch multiple variations for that product, I would consider limiting it in the beginning because it's quite difficult to launch a product with, let's say, six different colors or 12 different colors, 12 different sizes. First of all, you're going to have to invest in each and every variation, and that's going to increase your budget overall. Second, just keep it simple, keep it to the basics so that you can test out the market and make sure whatever weird color you're launching is actually potentially something the market and the Amazon customer is willing to purchase. Number six, going into strategies a little bit, not just product research. You can also run targeted PPC campaigns. PPC stands for pay per click. And it's the type of advertising that we do on Amazon. There are different strategies that we follow and it is not an easy thing to master PPC ads on Amazon. However, one thing that you can consider if you want to launch and you want to keep your costs down is doing targeted campaigns whereby you're focused solely on particular keywords and not general auto campaigns, which we dub as discovery campaigns that can be a little bit more expensive and garner less sales. And last but certainly not least, also related to ads, monitor and analyze your campaigns regularly. One big mistake that I find a lot of sellers, especially of course new sellers on Amazon make, is that they think ads on Amazon run on their own. Or probably because they don't know how ads actually operate, they just create a campaign and they tend to ignore it because it's quite complicated. Certainly, that's not what you should be doing. Ads on Amazon is something that you should be checking regularly, maintaining and upkeeping regularly. Things like changing your bid strategy, changing your daily campaign strategy, or even launching new and different campaigns is something that you really need to do in order to stay on top of your ad strategy and your ad costs. With that being said, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you never miss information and tips like this. Like this video because it helps and support us grow the channel more and leave me your comments or your questions or your video suggestions in the comments section below. As always, I'll see you in a new video with more information. Bye.